Today we're trying four barrel-proof bourbons under 50 bucks. Let's get drinking. All right, Thomas, what do we got? We got four bottles, and uh, this is our barrel-proof day, so we're gonna we're gonna fall on the floor after this. So, uh, <laughs> what, what do we got? So, this is the big trend in uh, American whiskey right now, the barrel-proof cask strength, whatever you wanna call it. So today, we've got four bourbons from Kentucky that we're gonna try that are all under $50. We'll tell you what is your best value uh, if you want that high proof point. So we've got Maker's Mark Cask Strength, Old Granddad 114, Wild Turkey Rare Breed, and Bullet Cask Strength. Okay, so so proof point, obviously this is 114. What's this one? This one is 112 and a half. This one's 114. This is 116 and a half. 116.8, and that is, I think it's 120. 120.2. 120.2, there you go. All right. First, the uh, the wax seal that will get you a cease and desist order if you put one on your box. So. <laughs> so Maker's Mark, uh, famous for being a weeded bourbon with the iconic r red wax top. So this is the only weeded bourbon we have in the in mm -hmm. the lineup today. Uh, it's also the lowest proof point of of them all. Yeah. Uh, so I'm interested to try it. Maker's Mark, just regular Maker's Mark, is a super easy drinking bourbon. Really good quality for the price. So yeah, I mean, you can tell it's weird right off the nose. Um, it doesn't It doesn't smell like it's strong. Right. It doesn't smell strong. Um, so if you guys are worried about that, so. So barrel proof, cask strength, it means what's in the bottle is the same as what comes out of the barrel. So there's no, we're not cutting it with water or anything. The interesting thing is like Granddad 114 and a couple of these, every bottle you get will be the same proof point. So they pick like, okay, this is what it's going to be when we bottle it. So it's like, eh, is it really? Okay. So let's give this one a nose. So like Dylan said, wheat. Yeah, and, and like, a, a, unless you're like, actually inhaling the alcohol up your nose. It's not, you don't smell the, the any heat or any of the power of the of the cask right, right off the bat, which some of you might be like, well, then it's not strong enough. Well, you know, hold your horses. All horses are gonna be held. Right? Uh, a little medicinal, kind of, maybe a little mildewy. Oh, that's not what I wanna think about when I'm drinking whiskey, <laughs> but okay. No, it's just medicinal, it's, okay, mildewy. Uh, 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 well, um, well, I mean, some whiskeys have that kind of funk to it. I would say funky over mildewy, <laughs> but um, it's yeah, I mean, I mean, it it's it's classic maker's mark. I think I keep having to stop myself before I say members mark, which is the which is the <laughs> Sam's, Club, Sam's brand? Club blend. Yeah, or blend, Club blend. All right, well, uh, let's have to keep it a try. Okay, so the heat comes on the front end. It doesn't burn your throat going down, which is nice. I say this is classic Maker's Mark. This is just, if you amped Maker's Mark, just turn the dial a bit on the, on the normal stuff, that's what you get here. So a little more body, a little more heat, a little more sweetness, I think, from the bourbon, a little more barrel. I can't really say anything bad about it. I mean, if it's, you know, if the, pr if the price is right. So next one is Granddad 114. The fun thing about Old Granddad is it's made by Beam Suntory. And the Old Granddad picture on it is Basil Hayden. So it's all interconnected, all of the bourbon stuff. Uh, this one you can find pretty much anywhere. If uh, like smaller liquor stores that don't do a lot of whiskey will usually have Old Granddad 114. I have to like really sniff this one to get much out of it. I almost get some kind of like chocolatey notes, but it's very subtle. Yeah, uh, it's almost it's almost like this weird kind of like some like cocoa kind of you know chocolatey uh, nose to it. It's it packs a punch. It's very peppery. Strong. It's peppery. It's strong, and you feel like you're drinking alcohol. Uh, it yeah, I agree. It's not like you're. It's it's, it's not. It, you're not drinking Everclear. It's it, it's. It's clearly bourbon. It's it's not the most sophisticated whiskey, but you get the corn sweetness, you get the rice spice. Definitely, it's very forward. Yeah, the, the, rice spi spice. the spice is there. Oh, that's probably the pepperiness. So next, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Wild Turkey Rare Breed, it's gotten a lot of really good press recently. People have been comparing it to the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Like this is just as good, a great alternative. This is one we both have had before. Yeah, I smell that. It's like vanilla cream Ooh. on bourbon. Bourbon cream, like the, the the core. Let's give this one a shot. Oh, that's lovely. I forgot how good that was. That drinks so easy for 
116 proof. Jeez. And it's very distinct too. That creaminess on the on the aroma comes through on the palate. I feel like I'm eating, this is gonna sound weird. I feel like I'm eating a spiced, fully loaded sweet potato. Brown sugar. Ooh, uh, yeah. You know, like really kind of almost burnt, you know, sweet potato. So like imagine eating a sweet potato with like some cinnamon brown sugar mixed in without too much of the brown sugar, you know, but you know what I'm saying. Just kind of the depth on the front end and it just kind of pulls the whole palate down and then just ends beautifully. There's like the heat, when heat trans, when the alcohol heat feels more spicy, that's when it's a good, that's when it's a good calf strength. And I feel like this did it well. This felt more heat this feels more flavor yeah and it's 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 two points up too yeah. and, and the crazy thing it's it's very much like desserty very like cakey almost like a like a spice cake with yeah. cherries in it or something so next we're going to bullet one of the big giants in the bourbon industry you see it everywhere this one is the the biggest one coming out at 120. you get a little heat on the nose like it is very sweet on the nose all right Let's see how it goes. That's definitely the sweetest one. The spice, the burn is like around my tongue. I don't mind that if it's like lateral like this when it's down the back of my throat when the burn, that's when it's a bad alcohol burn. You you definitely feel the heat more. I mean, it's four points higher than the wild turkey, but the the flavor profile isn't as deep. Yeah. It's not as well-rounded as the rare yeah. weed. It definitely packs a punch and it is, it is a good sipper because you definitely need to sip it. Now that we've had all of them, if I was ranking, I would rank one. Two's a close call, but I'd probably, I'd probably give two here. Close third, four. The reason I give this two over Makers is just because it does, it gives me a little more. This is just Makers Mark turned up a little bit. Out of 10, even without specific price points, knowing they're all under 50, nine out of 10, probably I'd go seven and a half, seven. Yeah, I would I would, I would, would go nine. You said nine on this? Yeah, nine on I that I would one. say nine, seven and a half, seven. I put that at a six. I like this more than you did. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we both agree the rare breed is, is the best. Yeah. And I would maybe tie these two for second and then third. Yeah, I, yeah that's the thing. I, I just picked a second they, they were pretty close yeah. um i picked this one for second just because i felt it was more distinct than normal bullet price point i'm gonna go from low to high okay i'll see if this changes anything 29 so like 25 to 30 ish yeah i'd give it the same rate this one is 35 to 40. this one if you're lucky you can get it for around 40 but like 40 to 50. Mm -hmm. and this one is pretty solidly 50 across the board or 49.50 across the board. So I would say the best buy definitely is Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Mm. It tastes like a bourbon that's double the price. Yeah. It is It is one of the best tasting bourbons Impress I've ever Impress your had. friends. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a great gift bottle for, for under 50 bucks, Rare Breed all the way. Yeah. Um, but in a pinch, like if you're if you're desperate for a barrel-proof bourbon, and you're this is desperate to knock someone out. <laughs> it, 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 but like, I think for twenty-nine bucks for a barrel-proof offering, that's like it's not yeah. Like and that, and that's the thing, twenty-nine bucks for a barrel-proof offering is good, and that's why I said put it in a punch. If you're thinking about a mixer or yeah. you know, yeah, if you're looking for a high octane mixer, yeah. this is definitely that's your best bet. For no, sure. that that that's a good price too. Yeah, I mean it it tastes good. It just I feel in this line up it is a it is a lagging force highly recommend wild turkey rare breed mm -hmm. these other all the other ones are definitely worth trying thanks for watching please like and subscribe put a note in the comments about your favorite barrel proof bourbon what would you like to see us try and as always please keep coming back for great spirits content rum whiskey all sorts of stuff we love having you here join us then won't you